Hey guys, thanks a lot for stopping by my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a first impression on this Makeup Forever Professional Palette, f no, I'm reading the Spanish side, 5 Camouflage Palette Cream. And this is what it looks like. There are actually five different palettes. Um, they're for different skin tones like European skin, Asian skin, dark skin, light skin, very light skin. I think that's all of them. But if you go to Sephora, you're only going to see three of them there. And I think they're just the most common ones. I know they have the one for dark skin. They have this one. This is where I got it. And then they have one more. So let's just address the elephant in the room first of all. My hair, don't even worry about it. Because I know that you didn't come here to judge me for my hair. You came here to watch a first impressions video. So let's just open this bad boy up. But first of all, it doesn't actually say what, you know, it doesn't have any claims on the packaging. It's just a little cardboard packaging and you pull it out like this and you get this little plastic case that looks like a little paint case. And, you know, it's shiny plastic and you just get the five shades in here. Um, you get the five sh concealer shades and the one for very light skin has green but I know that not all of them have green for example the one for Asian skin has um, has purple in it instead of the green and actually I know that on the website I don't know what I said but I know that they have one that's for like professionals and it's just all the weird colors they have a green yellow purple pink whatever something like that but like I said, this is the very light one, so this is all I have to show you. And as you can see, there are five different shades. And on the website, it just said that this is, can be used for concealing blemishes. It can be used for under the eyes, hyperpigmentation. So basically anything that you can use concealer on, this is good for that. And you can use it to even out your skin tone and all that business. And supposedly it's very... Um, highly pigmented as well, or at least that's what it's saying on the website. Now the reason why I decided to get this concealer palette in the first place is because I'm going to be using it for my professional kit. I have some proms coming up and a lot of the girls do have light skin so I thought that this would come in handy. So as you can see it has three different shades. One is more yellow based. Um, this one's more of a neutral or pink based. Oh, I don't even know if you can see that. Let's see if we can focus here. All right, so like I said, this one's more yellow based. I think this one is supposed to be pink and this one looks like it's supposed to be neutral, I believe. Or maybe this is the pink and this is the yellow. I'm not really sure, but I'm pretty sure that you would be able to use these depending on what the skin tone is. And then of course the green one would be to even out the redness if there is any. And I think that these would be really great to use for, um, to cover blemishes. And that's basically my purpose for getting it, although I'd be curious to see if it works underneath the eyes as well. So let's put the consistency and everything to the test. I also took some black eyeliner and I put a little smudge mark on my hand just to see how well everything covers. So let's see, I'm going to take a little bit of this, I don't know, let's just use this one here. And I decided to pick up some of that one because I feel like it matches my skin tone. And I'm just going to test... I'm going to put it on my hand to see what the consistency is like. And this is a swatch, and obviously it's kind of light for me, but it's definitely a creamy consistency as I would have expected in the first place. And, you know, it, I can't see any of my skin through the swatch, so yeah. Um, let's cover up this black line I have going on here. So I'm just going to pick some up on my finger and see how that covers. Oh, I just kind of rubbed it in. I need to take a little bit more because I didn't have enough, but let's take some of the salmon colored concealer here. And I just want to test it to see like how well it covers. Now that's a pretty thick layer of the concealer and it does cover the black eyeliner all the way. Not to say that you'd have any black marks on your face that you'd want to cover, but yeah, as I blend it in, um, you can kind of see that it is mixing with the eyeliner and that's not good. I don't really have any red marks or scars that I can just show you and cover them up. So that's why I decided to use the eyeliner. It obviously wasn't dry yet, but
but it is covering very well. It just goes right over it. So I would imagine that this stuff would cover um, acne scarring and hyperpigmentation extremely well. As far as the under eyes, now that worries me a little bit. I'm not sure exactly how that would work. Um, I already have makeup on right now, so I'm not going to be able to put it to the test under my eyes to check the creasing and everything, but I will be back a little bit later. I'm actually going to put it on and see how it wears for about an hour or so and then I'm going to come back and let you know if there's any creasing and just basically see how it wears. Alright, so I've had this concealer on underneath my eyes for about an hour and five minutes and I know that's not really a long time but it was long enough I think because I can already see that it's clinging to dry patches and I did think that this was going to be a more dry concealer because of the creamy consistency. Um, I wouldn't recommend putting it underneath the eyes especially if you have dry skin. I have dry skin. Maybe if you have oilier combination skin it might work a little bit better but any concealer that has that dry creamy consistency I never find that it works well underneath the eyes but I'm sure it would work great on like I said anything like acne scars or hyperpigmentation so yeah hopefully that's everything um, it is dry to the touch like if when I touch it right now it feels like like it just has kind of like a powdery consistency it's not wet at all like my Laura Mercier secret concealer that feels very wet to me and this feels dry so I hope I covered everything. If you have any questions, let me know. By the way, I know I didn't mention this earl earlier, but this retails for $38 at Sephora, and I know that they also have it on the Makeup Forever website. Don't know if they carry Makeup Forever at Ulta, um, but like I said, it's $38, and um, I'll give an update whether or not I think that it was worth the money in a couple of weeks when I have more time to try it. I'll leave that in the info box down below. So if you're seeing this weeks from now, make sure to check that out and I'll have a little bit more information. And again, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I hope you liked watching this and I'll see you next time. Bye.